is Eric Flynn. I'm president of the New York State Bed Bug Association. I'm making this video today to talk about um, bed bugs and the social stigmas that come with them. In this day and age, let's think about COVID-19 and compare it to that. Can you imagine if you had COVID-19 and were ashamed about it and didn't feel you could tell your family didn't feel that you could tell your friends and couldn't tell your employer. So you just went on about your business as normal, spreading COVID-19 to everyone. That sounds crazy, right? Well, that's literally what you're doing if you have bed bugs and you don't talk to people about it. Bed bugs spread extremely easy and they're very stealthy. They're hard to find. They're excellent hitchhikers. The, the odds of you transporting them out of your home are high, especially if you've been self-treating. Another reason that they will hit, hitch you right out of the house is by the way that they mate. When bed bugs reproduce, they do so in a process of a male actually piercing the abdomen of a female. It's called a traumatic insemination. And as far as the bed bug is concerned, that she was attacked. So she tries to get away from the other bed bugs. And now you have a pregnant bed bug going around with you and getting dropped off somewhere. And bed bugs don't just mate once and lay an egg and then mate again and lay an egg. They just mate one time. And then for the rest of their life, they're laying eggs every day, laying eggs here, there, everywhere. So by not telling your friends and family, there's two issues. One, you could have given bed bugs to them and they should look and maybe they can catch it early and resolve it themselves without needing an exterminator. Or two, you could have gotten it from one of them and they might have no clue. 40% of people have no reaction to bed bug bites. Sometimes, I mean, how often do you flip your mattress and box spring? So if, if you're not reacting to bites and you don't flip your box spring, we routine, routinely see people who go, you know, six months, nine months, maybe even a year without knowing that they have bed bugs. So it, it, it really is something. The other issue is work. And I understand that this is a very delicate issue and we encourage employers to work with you to try and find a solution because them telling you, you can't come to work, that's just making you not want to tell them. And if they take you out of work, it's not going to make your situation any better. It's going to make it a lot worse. So I understand where you're coming from, but it makes the issue a lot worse when you're not upfront about the situation. So if you do have an issue, um, you're welcome to give us a call. 607-591-4563. Uh, we can talk to you about different programs. We can also give you advice if you're trying to tackle it on your own and possibly try and figure out a way to um, let your employer know anonymously that someone working there does have a bed bug issue and that they need to take precautions about it. It's the only way that this bed bug situation is going to get under control. That since they ban a lot of very toxic insecticides back in the 70s, that's allowed bed bugs to come back and come back hard. And the reason that they keep growing and growing and growing is in part because of the insecticide issue, but it's also in part of us having the social stigma that we don't talk about it. So forget it. If everybody gets bed bugs, like, they're in million dollar homes, they're in dumpy apartments. Like they're in super clean homes, they're in super dirty apartments. It's got nothing to do with how you live. It's got nothing to do with your income. It's got nothing to do with where you hang out because they really could be anywhere. You could get one from a restaurant, you could get one from a store. You could get one from your job because someone else has it. Take this serious folks because it's not going away. If you have any questions or concerns, again, feel free to call us 607 Five nine one four five six three.